How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. There's been a lot going on in the past week in the Forza Horizon 5 community. A game-breaking money glitch has been found which basically gives anybody infinite money. It's caused a lot of issues, it's destroyed the auction house, there's been a lot of, lot of stuff going on. We're going to talk about it all today and what this might mean for the future of Horizon 5 in terms of the economy and stuff like that. If you do enjoy this video guys, please do consider subscribing. We always cover news and updates to do with Horizon 5. So what's been going on? Now, just over a week ago, a new glitch was found. Now, I'm not exactly sure who founded the glitch first. If anybody does know, please pop it in the comment section below. But this glitch was a bad one. It basically gave you hundreds of millions of credits within basically minutes. I'm gonna show you how the glitch actually worked in this video now that it is actually patched because it's quite an interesting one. Um, but yeah, this glitch was found and it started to go around YouTube and go around TikTok everywhere you'd imagine and people just started to abuse it. Now Playground Games themselves over on Twitter acknowledged this exploit with a tweet saying, we're aware of, we're aware of, I'm stuttering. We're aware of an exploit in Horizon 5 and we're taking the necessary steps to address it. This will not extend to player bans. We've temporarily disabled the auction house as we work towards a solution. We apologise for any inconvenience. So off the bat, it's good to say they're not banning people because of this, but what they have done is, I'm sure lots of you have noticed, is that they have disabled the auction house. Now, that's another reason I'm making this video, is because I actually went on to Horizon 5 and had a look at the auction house, and it doesn't really say that it's closed. It just says that the server is not available at this time. Now this doesn't really tell much to the user of the auction house. Not only that, but if you go to the message center, there are no messages or news or any information about what's going on with the auction house. So if you don't have Twitter and you don't have any social platforms and you're just a casual Forza player, no one's going they don't they're not really going to know why the auction house isn't working because it doesn't really say. It just sort of says the servers are down. So if you're wondering why it's actually purposely disabled and this is why. They've obviously disabled it because the amount of people that got hundreds of millions of credits was insane. If you go to YouTube and type in Horizon 5 Money Glitch, you'll see that there are tons of videos on it. Um, one guy in particular made several videos of basically the same glitch. Mixed cactus! So obviously a lot of people are going to end up doing this glitch and it caused a lot of havoc on the auction house where basically there was nothing on there. All of the cars that cost 20, 30, 40 million credits, you know, the hard to find cars, they were just gone. Everybody just bought them because everybody had hundreds of millions of credits because of this stupid glitch. I'm gonna show you now how the glitch actually works. Now I didn't do it myself, so I had to source this off YouTube. Um, Forza Horizon Clips, I think I got this video off, so thank you for that. The glitch is actually within Super 7. Now there are specific races or specific Super 7 challenges that you can go and play that are specifically made for this exploit. And all that involved doing is getting the Koenigsegg Jesko going into a pipe and basically holding your handbrake and going flat out. I'm not exactly sure exactly how it works because I don't really care. All I know is that you just stand there, hold the handbrake, hold the throttle and just sit there just grinding your wheels on this pipe and what this does is i actually know how this works and why it gives you lots of credits when you're in a super 7 match you get a certain amount of credits based on how fast you were going over a certain amount of miles so let's say you've got a super 7 track that's two miles long if you complete this two mile long track in a hundred miles an hour car you'll get x amount of credits if you complete this mile long track in 200 miles an hour at 200 miles an hour you will get more credits because you cr you've traveled faster so the faster you're traveling within super 7 the more credits you get now what this glitch does in this pipe is it actually tricks the game into thinking that you can keep accelerating now if you pull up your telemetry while you're doing this your wheels are actually going hundreds of thousands of miles an hour like a hundred thousand plus which tricks the game into thinking you're going stupid speeds, doing stupid miles, doing really well, when in reality you just sat there. And what this does is it obviously racks up the amount of credits you get and all you have to do is AFK in this pipe for five or six minutes. I think the video on screen, it was only about six minutes that they sat in this pipe for, going 100,000 miles an hour according to the telemetry. And then once you finish the Super 7 race, you will see that you get a lot of credits for not much work. If you sit there for a, an hour, you're going to get a billion credits easily. So 
it, it kind of makes sense how it works. It's a glitch that's been exploited. It's not really meant to be in the game, but that's how it works. Now, obviously the aftermath to this was the fact that everybody could just buy any car they wanted on the auction house. The auction house was just wiped of every expensive car and they had to disable it. So what are they gonna do now? Well, there's another tweet that came out a couple of days ago, in fact, yesterday, I think, um, by Forza Support. They said a new Horizon 5 hotfix is rolling out to download on Xbox, Windows, and Steam. You can view the patch notes here. Please note the auction mouse remains unavailable as they work on a fix to address the economy following the credit exploit. Now, if we have a look at the hotfix itself at the changelog, we'll see that it fixed a couple of random things, mainly, Fixed an issue with Super 7 challenges where players could get an unintended amount of credits through an exploit. So it is now fixed through this hot fix, but they have still got the auction house disabled because they're planning to hopefully affix the economy. Now that really does make me wonder what on earth are they going to do to fix the economy? It's all happened now. It's sort of too late. Everybody's already got the credits. Everybody's already bought the cars from the auction house. It's just caused a lot of havoc. The only thing that I could think that they could possibly do is revert, sort of backtrack the auction house, maybe two weeks. So travel back in time, two weeks, whatever the auction house was like then, you know, fast travel that to now and pretend the past two weeks never happened. What do you guys think about this terrible, terrible money glitch? Unfortunately, it's not the only big issue going around lately as well. We all know in the last update, they addressed the leaderboards. Um, leaderboards on Horizon 5 are just full of hackers and cheats. I'm sure we all know that. And they are addressing ways to fix this. Now, in the last update, they did address something that they were doing to fix it. There are lots of reports, including Don Ju Won Song, I'm sure we all know who he is, of rivals times and leaderboards times just being deleted. Legitimate ones, not hacked ones, legitimate ones. Now, we were warned that this could possibly happen, that unfortunately, legitimate times may be deleted. But it's a shame to see that it is happening quite a lot. We can see in his tweet here that he said that he's had, you know, over 17 rival scores removed. And there are people replying saying that their monthly rival times have been deleted as well, including world record ones that they have proof of. So there's just a lot of messy things going on at the moment. And it's a shame to see because Playground really do seem to be trying their best to do what they can to fix all this stuff. Hopefully they can reinstate legitimate leaderboards at times. I don't see why they wouldn't be able to. Um, as for the credits thing, I don't have a clue what they're going to do about that. Something I will say is if you are one of the people that did this exploit and spent hundreds of millions of credits buying tons of cars on the auction house that you didn't need or you did need, I don't want you to complain about how bad the economy is going to be for now because it's because of people like you that it is even worse than it already was. But at the same time, Money glitches are a bit of fun. They're kind of satisfying to do. I don't do them myself, but if you've done it, I kind of get it, but don't be whinging about the economy. Anyway, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.